What is going on guys, Ram back in from Roman Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Mishoko Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation, Season 2, Episode 15, Afar. Uh, do apologize for my attire, I mean I'm just rocking a tank top, um, but I was wearing this at work because it gets very hot at work and sweaty, so the least amount of clothes, I don't know why I'm rubbing my chest like this, I'm putting on, well, you can't see it, so I'm not, sorry, you can have to subscribe to my OnlyFans if you want to see this, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, but yeah, I'm trying to, trying to be in a better mood, um, things are still rough, uh, personal life, I think one thing, now that I'm getting older, now that my birthday has passed a couple weeks ago, it just, I, I'm starting to realize that, like, my group of who I, would consider friends is not really people that would be there for me as I would be there for them, if you know what I mean. Like, if one of my friends were to hit me up and be like, hey, I'm going through some shit, unless it's like in like wee hours in the morning where I'm like sleeping still, but like if they were to hit me up and I'm not like at work or doing something, I I'm dropping whatever I'm doing and heading over them. I, I don't really see myself having that and be like, hey, I'm going through some stuff. I need some help or someone to talk to. Can you help me out? In fact, I actually did that the other day. Didn't even get a single response. Not until days later. And like, oh, sorry, I had my phone on silent or I was just, I didn't notice. You good now? I'm like, and I just, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Just played it off. So it's just a bit sad. Now, growing older, um, I'm, I'm having a lot of regrets in life. And I think it's just me, just, I, I think this ties in, like, why I'm bringing this up. This ties into Mishoku Tensei. Um, you get a different chance, different opportunities. Sure, I mean, it's a completely different situation, kind of different, different world, everything about it's different. But, I don't know, if someone would be like, hey, if I put this bullet, if I put this gun to your head and pull the trigger, but you get to reset in a different life with your current brain, would you do it? Probably. Probably. The where, where I'm at right now? I got nothing. By myself. Sure, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I guess I'm lucky that I, I have a place over my head and a job that pays decent, but I ain't got nothing else. So. I do have a family who loves me, so there, there, there's that, but. And I guess I should also take that for, I, I shouldn't take that for granted, you know? But yeah, um, getting back on topic, last episode of Mushoku Tensei, we got to see the writing reception of between Sylphie and Rudius. Now, I'm curious on where this is going to go next. Um, the only thing I can think of right off the bat is something with Nanahoshi. Um, I believe, I, I haven't rewatched it since I saw it for the first time. I don't tend to rewatch a lot of things. It's very, very rare. Um, very few series actually have that uh, attention uh, where I get eyelash, sorry, where I get the drive to rewatch something. Uh, maybe I'll rewatch re it, but um, from what I remembered, uh, Nanahoshi is trying to discover a way to go back to her original place. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. We might see more of the automaton that they found in episode uh, in the first ep episode of this part. Um, those are the only two I can really think of. We've already seen enough of the regular school life in the first half, so I don't really know what else they could add on more. Maybe some more just detailed uh, exposition with some of the side characters. That's a possibility. Um, but my guess is either between the automaton or not Hoshi um, for this particular episode. Um, we're also probably going to get, of course, some more intimate moments between Sylvie and Rudius, which I'm totally a sucker for, totally up my alley. But yeah, I'm, I'm really curious on where this is going to go. But without further ado, let's jump into episode 15 of Mushoku Sensei, part 2, season 2, of far, starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. Again, I do apologize if it's hard to read just how it is. Mailman? No. He like looks like a mailman. Even in like an isekai, he looks like a mailman. You can just tell. It's one of those professions. 
that just I know it's a fictional thing, but that just looks like like scribbling. Oh yeah, and also in a um her this is a weird name. Ellen Elise. Hmm. So I'm gonna send it to you. Oh fuck. <laughs> I was kidding, but okay. Oh, um, the devil dude or demon dude. I know who it is. I mean, it's the, is he going to still be bald or is he going to have his hair grown out? I, I totally am missing his name though. I mean, th thankfully he has the room to uh, do stuff. Now I'm curious, are they, when are they going to get there? I mean, we all know who it is. Skip an intro, skip an intro. I no, oh, I want I want to have a relationship again like Sophie and Rudius. Although to be fair, it's a bit of a Osana Jimmy, so I don't have that anymore. They're all gone. Get to see her aunt in law. He's come far. He's come far. Damn. Oh, bread. I miss eating bread. Not really keto, but I can only have small amounts of bread. Heck, most of my carbs actually technically come from um, tortillas, and it's low carb, all that stuff. A nice supportive. See, not only that, they're they are they love each other, but they're also growing, making each other grow. That's exactly how a real relationship is supposed to be. Find someone who not only makes you feel good, but also helps you grow as a person. Like as as great of a feeling. It is to be in a relationship. If you don't grow in the relationship in some way, for both sides, it's not super healthy. It's better to help grow yourself and grow the other person. And you can still grow in that relationship and it doesn't work out. For example, you can learn things about yourself or how you feel or how you see things differently because of that relationship, and if it doesn't work out, you know how to be better for the next. Wow.
I will admit, though, I, I've said this before, this is a bit hard to watch if you know anything about my past. Oh, hey. It's weird seeing her smiling like that. She's been usually so... aloof in her facial features. So I know they're speaking Japanese in in the anime because you ha you have to show it, but in reality, in this world's reality, they're speaking whatever the language is over there. Do they? I I, I don't know if they said this before, but I think they speak Japanese when it's just the two of them. Because yeah. Is this something he noticed, but she didn't? Ah, uh, she's devastated. Oh, I bet she's like really up. Like she's significantly upset. You you know. I mean, she did say like this after two years of like research. This is all she's gone to. I wonder if she's like really trying to like want to get back. Yeah. Are they going to cut to her like... <laughs> Is she going to get like... From her normal exterior, this looks so much different. I don't know if that looks okay. Oh my god. She looks distraught. Princess Gary. No, oh, she looks like like exhausted too. Bold prediction: she's gonna make something work at the end of this episode. Something. It, of course, she won't be able to go back. I have, hardly doubt that. But yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, you see the chap lips, the dark circles in her eyes. She's just like me, for real. Sorry, bad taste.
it's probably just exhaustion. I mean, and emotional distress, I'm sure. I'm assuming it's from that knife, which, I mean, the scene where he almost died. Mm -hmm. Zanaba is fucking strong. I wonder if they're going to figure out something and then it's going to make her. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, so they are talking, they're talking about the doll, the automaton, but, yeah. It's better to have multiple minds and one um, to think about things. At least she's out, in a way.
Hey, she's got some life and light in her eye. I bet this is the first time they've seen her just so energetic, full of life. And the cool thing is, like, it, sometimes you need people in your life. It's ironic. She's going to make a breakthrough, though. Living life by yourself is... It's possible. It's very tough, though. So I, I I didn't know it was this like a type of summoning magic. It wasn't a teleportation magic, right? That's a plastic water bottle. That's a plastic bottle. And they probably don't have anything like that. No. They've never seen plastic. But they've never seen plastic. Because she's trying to get back, but not summon. <laughs> oh. I mean, they've all seen her, I believe, with her mess. This is like the real first time, but they didn't make a big deal out of it. That's really cool. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> I just love how his clapping is just the most, like, stand out, stand out-ish. I miss drinking too, dude. Like, drinking was so fun. God, I sound like alcoholic. No. Well, alcohol loosens me up. And I don't get sad. I don't get sad on alcohol. I get I get the uh happy and talkative drunk. Oh, okay, there is this credit scene. So skipping it. Oh. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Hey! No. Oh. And then Norn's gonna be like... Okay, he's still bald. He's still bald. I mean, we know who... Was anyone, like, surprised? Okay. So, next episode, we get to see the, uh, the siblings. And our, our fellow bodyguard. That's gonna be interesting. Um, because we haven't seen them since the end of first season. Um, when they separated. So, it's gonna be really interesting. Um, I know there's gonna be a lot to catch up on, so... Again, this is definitely, so far, more of a chill season in general. There's been character development, yes, but it's been very confined in a very small area, if you think about it. Um, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. 
again, as always, I've been enjoying it. Um, a lot of it hit on a lot of personal bells, which I wasn't really expecting. Um, yeah, as I said before, it just being alone. I thought it was easier, and part of it is. It's a lot easier on my wallet, but having camaraderie, friendship, you could add a relationship, but honestly, just having people, a support group around you, I don't think a lot of people realize how helpful if they're an actual friend who is good for you and works well with you, and it's a, not necessarily a give and take relationship, because I don't like seeing real friendships like that but someone where they can rely on you and you can rely on them there is something special about that i have strived to always be a better friend i wasn't a good friend in high school i mean i was a dumb kid 29 now and after getting out of my relationship my long term relationship I wanted to be someone who you could rely on. And I've been, I honestly think I've been pretty good at that. I know if someone were to ask me, again, if they needed something, I'll drop what I can do. I'll just drop whatever I'm doing and do it. I just, I just wish I had those friends where I could say the same thing to them. And, like, I'm going to continue being a good friend. I'm just, it's not like just because they're not what I would like doesn't make them bad people. I don't think... I just think that some people don't see me as as high of a regard as others. And because there's other people in their life. And I, I get that. So, yeah. But I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I apologize. I'm ranting on. But, yeah. Um, just if you have a real group of close friends where you can rely on them they can rely on you cherish those friendships especially if you're older if you're younger cherish them because you never know i had those friends back in school i don't have a single one of them now but if you're older around my age maybe even a little bit younger or a little bit older and you have people who you can rely on and they can rely on you be good to them Some people don't have those. I want that. Hopefully I can. I'm going to be going out of my comfort zone soon and hang, try to hang out with people around my age. It's a little harder where I work, too. Most of them are significantly older or significantly younger. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to try to step out of my comfort zone because I, I, want, to, I want to find people who I can be good friends with yeah uh i'm gonna go hurry up and upload this and i will be getting on go go loser ranger right after this so thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below as always and i will see you guys next time or in the next video peace